The Life and Sad Ending of Leif Garrett Leif Garrett was born Leif Per Nervik on November 8, 1961 in Hollywood, California. Being raised in such a city and being born with eye-catching good looks, it's little wonder he became an actor before he tested his singing ability. Both he and his two sisters, Dawn Lynn and Deborah Lee Scott, were taken to local casting calls at a very early age. He started working around the age of five and made his film debut a few years later in the hit comedy Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, 1969, in an uncredited part. Garrett's most notable film role was in the southern action drama Walking Tall, 1973, as one of the children of Buford Pusser, the film's crusading lawman. His sister Dawn Lynn also had a role in the film as one of Pusser's other children. On television, Garrett landed several guest starring roles, appearing in episodes of Nanny and the Professor, Family Affair, and Gunsmoke. He starred in the adventure series Three for the Road as the son of a freelance photographer who accompanied his father on his different assignments along with his brother in 1975. Unfortunately, the show was canceled after only a few months on the air. This disappointment did little to hamper his career. He remained in demand, appearing in such films as McCunn County Line, 1974, and Walking Tall Part Two, 1975. While he was a popular young actor, Garrett also wanted to sing. He signed a deal with Atlantic Records in 1977 and released his first album that same year. Scoring hits with covers of the Beach Boys' Surf in USA and Dion's Run Around Sue, Garrett soon developed a huge following among young teen girls. Pictures of the 16-year-old star were featured in fan magazines such as Tiger Beat, 16, and Teen Beat. His next album for Atlantic, Can't Explain, 1978, featured more 1960s rock covers including the Who's I Can't Explain. Moving to the Scotty Brothers record label, Garrett went for a more contemporary sound, disco. He scored his biggest hit to date with I Was Made For Dancing, off of Feel The Need, 1978 which did well domestically and internationally. In addition to his success as a singer, he continued to act. Garrett had a reoccurring role on the domestic drama Family in 1978 as Christy McNuckle's boyfriend. He also starred in Skateboard, the movie, 1978. Off screen, Garrett was on a path for self-destruction. He has said that he started using drugs when he was 14. By the age of 17, Garrett's parting ways caught up with him. He was high when he crashed his car, leaving his passenger and best friend, Roland Winkler, in a wheelchair for life. A legal battle ensued between Garrett and Winkler, which was later settled. Garrett's guilt over the incident, however, haunted him for years. Despite his personal problems, Garrett released two more albums, Same Goes For You, 1979, and My Movie Of You, 1981. He also made several film appearances, most notably Francis Ford Coppola's The Outsiders, 1983. By the end of the decade, however, Garrett had all but disappeared. He later told the Los Angeles Times that, quote, I made a point of stepping away from it for a while, from all of the hooplas, because the glare was too bright. It was too much. In the late 1990s, Garrett resurfaced on the series 8-track flashback on the cable music channel VH1 replacing another teen heartthrob, David Cassidy, as host. VH1 went on to feature Garrett in a 1999 episode of its Behind the Music series. Around this time, Garrett also released his latest music effort as part of a group called Godspeed. They only recorded a handful of tracks before splitting up in 1999. After that, Garrett joined up with the grunge pioneers The Melvins, briefly. He even did the vocals for their cover of the Nirvana hit Smells Like Teen Spirit, on their album, The Crybaby. Later, Garrett formed the hard rock band, F8, and took an active role behind the scenes, writing most of the group's songs. Displaying a sense of humor, Garrett appeared as himself in Dickie Roberts' Former Child Star, 2003, with David Spade in the lead role. The film also had appearances by Danny Bonaducci from The Partridge Family and Barry Williams from The Brady Bunch. After another drug arrest in 2004, Garrett continued to pursue his music. He released a single called Betty Ford for Christmas with the Crush Ups that year. Giving reality television a try, Garrett appeared on several shows including Star Dates, The 70s House, and Celebrity Fear Factor. 
In 2006, Garrett was arrested again in Los Angeles. He was stopped by police officers for trying to ride the LA subway without a ticket, and then the officers discovered that Garrett was in possession of heroin. Weeks later, he decided to enter a live-in drug rehabilitation program. After rehab, Garrett has had a few television appearances. He also released a solo album, Three Sides Of, in 2007, which featured a re-recording of his biggest hit, I Was Made For Dancing. In 2010, Garrett shared his struggle with substance abuse with the public as a participant in the reality series Celebrity Rehab. He then continued to pursue his music, releasing the single Everything that same year. Garrett also made a guest appearance on Tantric's 2013 album, 37 Channels. In August 2013, Garrett offered his hard-earned wisdom to one of today's teen idols, Justin Bieber. In his personal life, Garrett, at age 17, was linked to 34-year-old singer Michelle Phillips. He also dated actress Nicolette Sheridan off and on for five years until 1985. Garrett also dated celebrities such as his former family co-star Christy McNichol, Tatum O'Neill, and Justine Bateman. In the 1990s, Garrett was also in a long-term relationship with actress Elaine Bolstead, who died in 1999 of a heart problem. In October 2001, Garrett was in a personal bankruptcy proceeding in a federal court in Los Angeles. Court papers stated that his regular income was only $1,000 a month in the form of gift from his mother. His only listed possessions were his clothes, some household goods, and about $350 in cash. Garrett ran up a $76,198 debt in unpaid credit card bills over a four-year period. Probably right now is his worst time, when his health is slowly deteriorating. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Leif Garrett. Like and comment on your opinion in the comments section below.